Over the years, uh, people always ask, how did the History Hall of Fame get started? And it's kind of a long story, but I'll, I'll try to keep it as short as I can. Uh, back in the 80s and, and early 90s, there was a tradition uh, that the, the past presidents of the chamber would gather for a, a dinner and drinks uh, hosted by the then executive director of the chamber. It was just a social event, and it was uh, kind of a get-together, and the, the executive director would give us an overview of what's happening with the city and, and the chamber and so on. And but frequently, a lot of the, the attendees would say, you know, this is nice to get together socially, but we ought, we ought to have some kind of a purpose or, or project. There's a lot of talent in this room, and, and you know, we ought to do something together. But no one really came up with any particular ideas at the time. Coincidentally, Don Ruff and his wife Barbara attended the first annual History Makers Dinner in the early 1990s, sponsored by the Historical League, an affiliate of the Arizona Historical Society. He thought Scottsdale could adopt the concept, so he brought the idea to the next Scottsdale Chamber of Commerce Past Presidents Gathering. Ultimately, uh, it, the project was approved, voted on and, and approved uh, unanimously and uh, fortunately, Phil Carlson, the executive director of the chamber, stepped up and said he'd do the administrative support for the project. Uh, and he assigned uh, his longtime secretary, executive assistant, Leslie Nyquist, to be our, our program coordinator. I guess because it was my idea, uh, I was appointed the chairman of the planning committee and ultimately uh, uh, chaired the first annual event. Uh, the members of the planning committee were key, and, and, and we met for six to nine months uh, before the first uh, dinner that we held. And, and some of the members of the planning committee were Bill Arthur and Don Chambers, Dave Hallstrom, Bob Carrots, plus Art Dekabooter, Phil Carlson, Tom Lennon, who was then president of the Scottsdale Historical Society. And I asked Paul Messenger, who was not a past president, but to join us because of his phenomenal memory and, and deep knowledge of, of the early years of Scottsdale history. And, and he was invaluable in coming up with uh, suggestions and, and nominees in the, in the early years of our project. We ended up with uh, 15 individuals, half of which were deceased, uh, for, to honor the first dinner. It was, it was quite a long night. You know, the honorees, uh, over the past 25 years have, have come from all different walks of life. And uh, they came from the arts, uh, health care, business leadership, political leadership, public service, retail service, land development, construction, youth services, philanthropy, and so on. And each in their own way made a valuable contribution uh, to making Scottsdale the great city that it is today. Over the past 25 years, the Scottsdale History Hall of Fame has inducted 135 individuals and 25 organizations or businesses. About year five, uh, we finally added nonprofits, uh, at least one, one per year to be honored. Similarly, uh, in, in doing research on individuals, we also, from time to time, became aware of uh, several for-profit companies that had a huge economic impact on Scottsdale, which really improved the quality of life of all of our citizens. And I want to acknowledge and thank the financial support uh, given to the project by the Scottsdale Charles over the past 25 years. The Charos have been the program's presenting sponsor and have been joined by dozens of other generous sponsors from throughout Scottsdale's business and nonprofit community. Although the uh, History Hall of Fame was not intended to be a fundraiser as such. We were pleased that every year we were able to give a financial contribution to the Scottsdale Historical Society for benefit of the museum. You know, over the years, the uh, History Hall of Fame dinner has become uh, the signature event in Scottsdale for, for attendance. Uh, we, we usually have four to 500 uh, attendees, and uh, ma many of the long-time residents here uh, look upon it as somewhat of a reunion. It's a, a time of, to get together to see each other but, and then to re renew their, their memories of Scottsdale history. You know, perhaps the most significant uh, contribution that we made with the Hus Scottsdale History Hall of Fame was in educating our residents uh, about our community. Uh, in developing information about honorees, uh, we uncovered uh, huge hunks of Scottsdale history that were largely unknown or undocumented. 
and these are now uh, preserved in, in the various video presentations that we do, we've done every year. And by the way, all of these presentations are, are on file, a permanent file at the Scottsdale City Library. Well, here we are at our 25th year, and uh, I hope that you'll all be with us at our 50th anniversary. Thank you.